essential oils. At least essential. Hi there. Thank you very much. I am so excited to be here. I'm excited you're here. Really? You said you were going to help me sell more cars. I am absolutely going to do that. And you know what? I've only been working with dealer socket for a couple of months, but uh, I missed the activity and so, the smell of the showroom, so they, it's they, nice to be back here. Wait, they, they sent the new guy? They did send the Do new guy. Do you even guy. know what you're talking to me about today? Barely, but it's okay, because you're going to like what I have to tell you about. Well, I like you. We go way back, so. Anyway, you're going to like what I have to tell you about. Okay. The good news is what I'm going to talk to you about is going to come kind of from my background, which is working as a sales manager for the mm -hmm. last 12 years. And, uh, you know, I used to work for Maureen Donnelly, so powerful woman, much like yourself. And every day she drilled into me, day without an appointment is a day without a car sale. Day without an appointment is a day without a car sale. And so I'm going to talk to you about today is how do we generate more appointments to sell more cars. Now, you have to do me a favor. I get really excited and I'm going to talk a lot, so if you have any questions, I want you to stop, ask. Also, if you just decide that you want to go ahead with it and you don't want me to keep talking, then just put your hand up and say, look, I'll just sign. I'll just sign. Okay, we're done. Okay, just kidding. Just kidding. I got you excited for a minute, right? Okay, so uh, I have a couple questions for you. Um, do you use a BDC right now at your dealership? No, we've been talking about getting getting one going this year. Okay. That's actually one of, the, one of the things we're taking a good look at. Yeah, well, why do you think you want to go with one? Um, I just know that with Socket, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of follow up that we should be doing. A lot of kind of proactive, you know, uh, calls. We just got you guys turned on with service, and I feel like we might be underutilizing the the technology that you, you give us. So, okay. um, our consultant was sharing with us about some other stores that have implemented uh, BDC and done right. some more proactive type calls versus just follow up. Okay. Now, and when talking about um, data mining, did you have anybody in mind in terms of who you wanted to kind of put in charge of it, or who you'd want making this a call? Oh, you've or? been in the business. Do you know anyone? <laughs> I need a good uh, BDC manager. Not here, but okay. So I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, yeah. we'll get a BDC team going. I just need to find the right person. Right. No. Now, the nice thing about this is everything I'm going to show you today is going to be really familiar because you already work in our CRM, which is going to make it really simple. Uh, and it's going to be really easy for all your staff as well. Okay. But I have one more question for you. Um, as I told you, I have 20 years in the business. And if I decided to stop working for Dealer Socket and came to work for you and I sat in your, I don't know where you file your files, but your file room. And I went through every one of your customers' deal jackets. Picked out how they bought the car, how much money down they put, what their monthly payments were, exactly how that deal was structured. And then I went and I grabbed the black book and I figured out exactly what that car was worth versus what they owe on it. And then I got online and I went to a haggle and worked out exactly what all the factory incentives were mm -hmm. and figured out how I could get them into another car from your inventory and drop their payments, would I be a guy that you might want to hire? Probably couldn't afford you if you were doing that sort of thing. Well, maybe, and that's the next question. I want you to tell me later what you think that job would be worth. Okay. Now, I'm not only going to do that, but what this tool is going to do is find other areas like that where we're going to find customers that you already have, they already like you, that are going to come back in and spend more money with you, whether it's in sales or in service. So you're already with us, and you do a lot of things with our marketing, with our automated business rules, automated processes. You just signed up for our service, which is great because you're going to see all of these opportunities pop up in service, and then data mining. And I'm going to tell you, if I would have had a chance to work with something like this, like Revenue Radar, I'd probably be retired right now, so I wouldn't have the pleasure of being here in front of you. So, <clears throat> we've got seven different sales radars that we look for within that database, within those customer deal jackets and four different service ones. The most common ones for our customers tend to be the smart payment, which is dropping that customer's payment for the same type of car. Equity, so that vehicle that they currently have where they owe less than what it's worth. Uh, and of course, end of term, because those customers are coming up to the end of either their lease term or their finance term, so they're really right to go into a vehicle. And then from the service side, a lot of our competitors will talk about having service opportunities, but really what they have is they have service customers that they try to turn into sales opportunities. 
But we also want to help you service more cars. So we have the decline service ping, or radar, and what that's going to do is that's going to look for customers that have declined services and gives you an opportunity to get them back in. The nice thing about that is through our data with all of our existing uh, revenue radar customers, the average increase in RO in terms of dollars on declined service ROs is another $76. Mm -hmm. So you get them back in and you're creating another $76 on all of those customers. Now, <clears throat> I'm actually going to get in the tool here and show you exactly how it works a little bit because I think that's a little more valuable. Yeah, when Christian came out here, he <coughs> first sold us the CRM. You know, at first he was, he was jumping around into the tool. You know Christian, right? Yep. Yeah, he's all over the place. I finally was like, can you just show me a PowerPoint? But you seem like you can, you can. I'm you not going to show you a bunch of different things, just some really important things. Yeah, don't confuse me like he did, jumping around from screen to screen. I'm too simple. I told you I'm new. I can't confuse you. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> This, you've probably seen, right? Yep. This is one of your sales consultants or your BDC manager or one of your managers. That's their yep. work plan. Right? I do calls you too. Know. I use this. You do this as well? It's like mine. Yeah, I've got a lot of overdue calls right now. You do calls. Just like this. Okay. I, I'm embarrassed to share. All right. We'll talk about that later. Maybe I can give you some tips on how to get Cool. Now, anything different with this from what you would normally see on yours? I'll help. So, we've got these little green pings right here. So that's telling you that you've got an opportunity to make it stand out. So you say, hey, this is a customer that I can get into another vehicle or whatever one of those, those opportunities are. And it's a little more important than just the regular follow-up to, to, uh, to an unsold prospect or whatever the case may be. Now, as you click on any of those customers, you're going to bring up the ping detail screen. Now, you as a manager or your VDC manager, you're probably going to want to see the entire thing. And this is where I talked about when I grabbed the field jacket. Right? It's right here. <laughs> Everything's right there. That's pulled right from your DMS. Right? You're still on Reynolds? Mm -hmm. Yes? Good. So all that data is pulled right from the DMS. We're integrated. And of course, we're integrated with the CRM as well. So you know how seamlessly that works, right? Yeah. So we have all that information in terms of their current payment, their current rate. Their estimated mileage based on time and what they've done in terms of service. And then when I talked about Black Book, right, that's where we look at their current vehicle in terms of their estimated trade value and estimated payoff. Now, you can set that up to be Black Book rough, average, fair, and any of those numbers plus or minus a certain percentage or a certain number. <coughs> of so if you want to give yourself some room and say, you know what, I'm going to use Black Book average, that's 500 bucks. So if you have a little more room for gross, you can do that. And then here's the really important stuff, which is the new car. So what we're going to do is take the comparable car that you have in your inventory with the highest MSRP. And what's the highest MSRP mean to you? Making more money. Highest gross, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what we want to do. We want to make more gross. Now, if as you're calling this customer, they say, you know what, that uh, isn't going to make sense for me, then you can search for any other vehicle. Maybe they have a lifestyle change, maybe they don't need a truck anymore, maybe they need a compact car, maybe they don't want to lower their payment, maybe they want a more luxurious car, whatever the case may be, you can search for anything else within your inventory, pull that vehicle in, and still get a snapshot of where that's going. Cool. Now the nice thing here is even if you call a customer and say, hey, great news, I can get you out of your current vehicle, drop your payment, and significantly, and they say, you know what, I'm not necessarily looking for that type of car, but something new, it's a really valuable prospect. Mm -hmm. Right? So, <clears throat> after that, here's all that info I said that we get from one egg. So that's all of your factory programs, factory incentives, rates, residuals, anything like that. If there are any cash incentives, they'll be right here, you can click on it and pull up any additional incentives. Okay. Now what it won't show is if there are certain programs like loyalty or something like that that doesn't necessarily apply to every customer. So once again, if you get this customer, pops up in front of you, you can save them hundred bucks a month, and you still have a $500 loyalty in your back pocket, and you're working off full gross, and you're working off black book average less 500. Is that a good deal for you? Yeah. Big money, right? Yeah. And they're pretty happy. Yeah. And what's the most important thing in terms of that customer? 
Let they buy a car? Oh, well, yeah, absolutely. And they haven't had a chance to shop yet. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They love you. They've already come in. Pulled they haven't necessarily serviced with you. But if you get them back in, you're the first one to show them a new car. They didn't even know they were in the market. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, that's our pin detail screen. One of the nice things is the dashboard. Right? So when you take a look at all of the different areas where those opportunities pop up, like I said, there's spur payment. There's, there's a lot of them, and I can go into detail on each one. But just to give you an overview, you can see each one, how many there are. If you wanted to click on any of them to specifically dive in. But here's what I think is the most important. Down here at the bottom, you're always going to have an updated snapshot on sold things by category. So you're going to see which areas are giving you the best rate of return. Mm -hmm. So which areas are generating you the most, the most either ROs or sales. And which of your representatives are doing the best job. So right in a snapshot, you know that Ryan's doing a great job. Uh, he's four times better than the next guy. Let's figure out what he's doing, best practices, or let him handle everything. Right? And I know you want to make sure that this is working for you. So right up here, we have a ping ROI by date. So you can run that report at any point in time and see what your return on this investment is. How are you tracking if it's actually brought in by Revenue Radar versus, you know, because we've got business rules running today where, you know, we put a customer nearing the end of their term, socket brings them back in, and right. how, how do we know it was Revenue Radar that sold them and not just, you know... Uh, <coughs> if there's a ping generated for that, for that customer, and we sell them service or sell them a car, they're going to fall into this category. Hmm. So there may be some overlap there, but what you can't forget is that any of these customers, when you're sending them out emails, they're going to be in your sales staff or your BDC or in service scheduler or the desk log with that ping detail, which is going to put all of your staff on high alert. This is a prime candidate to get into another car. Yeah. One of the other things, because I'm sure Right, you use the mobile a lot with your team. Yeah. So, for example, if they're salesmen out on the road, and I'm not pulling the camera, but you'll see right up here, you've got the ping detail. Yeah. So as I've got a to-do and I'm going to call that customer, I know that, oh, wait a minute, I need to take a, a better look at what he's got going on because he's a prime candidate to get into a new car. So it's possible for your team, impossible, for them to miss one of these opportunities. So they're going to be there. So, I asked you earlier if I could sit in your dealership and I could dig in and I could find these opportunities for you by actually diving in and looking at the deal jackets and looking at the current incentives and programs and looking at the black book to establish a value. If that would be somebody that you'd want to hire, if you want to hire me to work for you because I have all this knowledge. Right? And you said, yeah, you probably couldn't afford it, right? You probably could. I'm really not that expensive. I'm cheap. <coughs> so, what would that person be worth to you? How cheap are you? Can, can I get you for for 100k? Probably. Do I get a demo of benefits? We'll talk about <laughs> the demo. Benefits are part of the deal. Okay. So how about this? I'm fairly reliable. This system is super reliable because it does it 24/7. So how about if I give you this system to do that for you? You don't have to give me a de demo. I don't need any benefits because you're an existing customer. It'll be 12.50 a month. Does that sound good? Pretty solid. Um, let me ask you. So, yes. if I'm pulling equity customers, for example, right. um, you know, and it's it's let's just say the end of the month, and right. and we need to get you know ten more deals on the board. Is there a way that I can kind of try to find like the best of the best, the highest, you know, potential customers? That is a great question. See, I like people like you that think outside the box and think, how do I make things happen? Today? So what you can do is we've got something that's a little bit unique and we offer filters so that you can search through the different things and set up what do I want to pull and either send them an email, drop them into somebody's work bucket to call, or I can actually send them a mail piece if I'd like to. So if, for example, you wanted to search, sorry, what did you say? I don't know. I want to find customers that have like greater than $5,000 equity. $5,000 equity. So I would say right here. More than $5,000 of equity, and I would apply that filter. 
Yeah. What other kind of filters? I mean, what if we want to get really, you know, granular and just find, you know, like, can I target specific vehicles? Such a GM sales managers, we don't get granular. The GMs always do. Okay, so yes, we can get granular, and we could look at, say, customers within what ten miles, because <clears throat> we want customers that are close, that are going to be easy to get in, that are going to have to drive from far, they're going to say, I don't have time to get in, right? Something like that. Sure. Yeah. What if you had a special program where they offered, I don't know, actually a thousand dollar accessories on F-150s, for example, yeah. right? They come out with those programs all the time. Then you can look for certain vehicles as well, to pull up just those things. Now this how, is a Nissan demo site, so I can't pull up F-150s. How, um, how can I use this tool working, working on the service drive? Like, does this somehow give me a list of, you know, people that are in service that maybe might be, I should send my, my guys out to go talk to? Yeah, most definitely. So, as opposed to a list, mm -hmm. you're going to have these pings. So, right here. So, it's going to go by appointments and by open ROs. So, if you have an appointment booked, so this dealer, for example, has 21 appointments booked with customers that currently have a ping. And it could be a ping for decline service, it could be a ping for a new car, whatever the case may be. So, you can dive into that and see which of those customers what the date of the appointment is, and you want to call and confirm that appointment, which salesperson do you want out meeting them, whatever the case may be, but at least you've got a plan, and you can figure that out. And then the open RO one means they're in service. Yeah. Or they've dropped their car off. Yeah. Right, so we see these are the appointments, right, the dates, February 3rd, 23rd, whatever, January 30th. So you know these customers, you can take from the service drive, while they're in service, put them in a new car. Mm -hmm. And these are the easiest cars to appraise, right? Technicians looking at it, you know, if it's gonna need brakes, you know, if it's gonna need tires, you know, all that stuff. So it just makes it so much easier to put a number on it and to be, you know, confident. In so am I working in dealer socket or am I working, this doesn't look like dealer socket to me. How do I get this, do, do I work it here or what do, what do I do? Well, you can work it wherever you want. As I said, you can work it in the mobile, which is dealer socket. You can work it from, contact dashboard, employee dashboard. You can work it from the service scheduler. Your sales managers will be able to see those pings in uh, the desk log, as well as the desk log. They'll also see which appointments have been booked or which leads have been dropped in in the sales dashboard, so okay. they know what's going on. Cool. And they can track the closing rate on those as well. Okay. So you are working in dealer socket. Just for, the, for you as a manager, you can go to the, the revenue radar portion of it, which as you see, it's just right here, you just click on that, and it's just a separate page that you open up. Much like the sales dashboard for the managers, is just another section that you're opening up. Now, one last thing, depending on who you have making those calls, if for example it's you, because you said you make a lot of calls, mm -hmm. and I've heard you on the phone, you're really good then you would want the full access view as I showed you earlier. So you know everything and you can modify it, control it, change the kilometers on the trade, change the estimated trade value, whatever you want. If it's one of your sales consultants or you get the BDC running and you just want to book the appointment, then you have them with a restricted view. And all it shows is what they may qualify for so that your BDC manager or BDC person just calls to book that appointment and you may be able to get into a new car. I don't have all the details, but my team will be able to answer that. All right, and tell me a little bit about, do I have do I have my same consultant? Does Christian help with this? Do you help with this? Like, how, who do I find? Who do First I call of all, you can questions? call me anytime, because <clears throat> I love selling cars, so if I can help somebody sell cars, that's what I'll do. Uh, Christian's definitely gonna help you. Uh, the setup time is much easier because you're already a dealer socket user. It's gonna be uh, webinars to just teach your people how to work in these screens. Mm -hmm. Right, whereas your CRM presentation was, I don't know, an hour, and a half, two, whatever. This yeah. is, you know, 20 minutes and we can pretty much get through it. So it's actually a lot easier to learn because you're still working in dealer socket. It's just a few extra fields. So, any other questions or should I send over to them? 
Well, come on. I mean, twelve fifty. Okay, you kind of dug me into a little bit of a hole there. You know, saying I'd pay you a hundred grand, but then I get to look at your smiling face every day. This thing does not smile at me. Hopefully, it'll sell me cars, but it's not going to smile at me like you do. Okay. So what what are we going to do? Make this happen for me. What do we got to do? Make this happen for me. I want to buy, but I I want a good deal. Okay. Well, we do have an ADA special right now where we can waive some of the setup fees. So if I didn't have a setup fee and just charge the twelve fifty, would that be able to do it? What's the normal setup fee? Twelve fifty. How long does that get through? Thirty uh, first of March. I should say January. Yeah, you should. Okay, nice job. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, so you guys all know Lee's background at this point, but he's run a store, he's used dealer socket, Revenue Radar is new for him because when he was in the store it wasn't available in Canada. Don't get mad, he's got a little bit of a temper, he likes to throw his computer around. But, but if you guys are, are concerned at all about your ability to connect with and sell a dealer and how Realistic is my presentation. Would you buy from me? Ask Lee. He'll tell you if he'd buy from you or not, and he'll ask you some 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 of the tough questions. A um, couple little things. I, I love the introduction. That was a really interesting way of positioning, you know, prop, uh, positioning the price and creating value in, in what it is. How much would you pay me to do all this stuff? And that's just one component. Genius. I love it. I've that never heard awesome. of that before. That was awesome. That was awesome. Um, Pre-demo plan, he didn't just get right into it, right? He, he built it in the before, he asked a couple questions, and then before he got into the technology, he gave me the lay of the land. What can I expect in the time that we share together? That was really good. Um, smooth discussion of what data mining is. He made it very clear. He pulled up a deal jacket. I can tell you there's nothing more familiar to a dealer than a deal jacket. So um, he, he talked about how he'd be like the guy combing through there for this information, but then he circled back around and brought up my other familiar thing, uh, when he showed the ping details. All this is on the left here, it's just a deal jacket. Okay, because somebody that especially doesn't use the technology on a day-to-day -day basis, I see that it might be kind of a lot. It's a lot of information in one box and if you let me know that that's my deal jacket, it instantly puts down my guard. Um, uh, smooth navigation within the tool. So if you are going to go from the PowerPoint to the tool, which I hope you guys all, can, all will be doing, um, it's got to be smooth. You have to know where to go. You have to know how to click around, how to show the open ROs, how to show radar setup, how to get into the filter. So if you're not comfortable at this point navigating in the tool just as you would um, you know, in the PowerPoint and talking about things, if you can't show everything that you discuss in the PowerPoint, make sure that you spend some time in there. Um, I love how when he talked about the value of the integration, which for dealer socket customers considering adding this, that is the selling feature, is the integration. Now having to learn new tools, um, speaking to it that it's going to be impossible for your team to miss these opportunities, visibility, transparency of these opportunities in sales, in service for your sales people, for your sales managers, your advisors, your service manager, everywhere. No one is going to let these customers walk away without buying, right? Um, when I asked about like the training and what does that mean? Um, consider this, you guys, for current dealer socket customers, the focus isn't on really how to use the tool. It's easy. It'll take 20 minutes. It made, almost made me feel like the training would take 20 minutes, which, well, of course you're not charging me 12.50. You guys are going to flip a switch. So you almost kind of went backwards that way. Rather, we need to focus time working with your people to help them understand how to sell <laughs> these appointments. Your people today are used to handling leads that come into the dealership. We are essentially giving them warm leads or cold calls with information about the customer, which makes them a little bit warmer, and trying to get them in. They've never done that sort of thing before, have they? No. Oh. Unless they've done, you know, sales before in a previous career where they're picking up the phone doing prospecting, this is going to be different for them. So, you know, the technology is easy. But where we're really going to spend time and, and focus with your guys is making sure they're effective at getting customers in the door. We give them the information, but then we're going to give them training wheels, we put the scripts right into the ping details, you know, really make me feel good that, that I'm going to be successful in this. And it'll also help set the stage for the training because you sell me this deal today and I don't let my guys know how important the training is. Oh, it'll be easy, 20 minutes. They're not going to take it as to heart, as serious 
And so when account, uh, account managers up there scheduling a thing, they're gonna be like, oh, how long is this thing gonna take? I know how to do this. I know how to use this the socket. I use it every single day. The the training and the focus, and the energy is around how to be successful <coughs> with this program. So, and then. Um, we talked about this, so make sure that you incorporate this into your word tracks with Revenue Reader, everyone, but no one has really t talked about it. We, I shared with you that I've always used the word track where we could help you increase your marketing efficiencies. Dealer Socket will do that, but what dealers really like about Revenue Radar is that it can help identify high demand vehicles either on the drive or in their database that they can then take in for trade, and they're going to sell for a lot more money. Um, so just consider that that you know spin for it is that you know you might be using socket today to you know uh, do vehicle buyback campaigns it's going to be a lot easier with your buyback campaigns when you have information right in front of you to help get the customer you know to to come in you know, they don't want to give up their their car unless they know that they'll be in a brand new one and keep their payment about the same when you have a word track like that you're much more effective on those buyback campaigns so we'll take what you're doing today for that and acquiring vehicles and not having to go to auction, and we're going to take it to the next level. So used car acquisition is, is a hot topic in the industry right now because the grosses have gone down. Who was it? Um, Chris, you talked about that, or, or um, Craig, you talked about that too. It's like you know that your, your grosses have dropped in recent years because there's all these third-party companies that are taking a piece of your profit. And so... We know that we're not making as much on our cars, so if we're going to be smart dealers, we need to figure out how to buy vehicles for less money. And if we're buying them from auction, we're paying, a, we're paying top dollar for them. Okay? So speak their language, think like a dealer, and help them see that you get the business and that, you know, give them confidence that our technology is going to help them do the smart thing. Okay? Nice job. Really nice job. I would have bought. I did buy, right? Yeah. Okay. Excuse <laughs>